Hey there, what's up everybody? Today we are going to be installing a O2 sensor bung. This is a weld-on uh, style of bung. It's stainless steel and this is the chamfered type where it's got a slight cut here to match kind of the diameter of the pipe that we're welding it onto. Uh, it's not a perfect match but uh, it'll be close enough. So to start off, we're going to drill a pilot hole here, and then we're going to use a step bit. I'm going to drill it out to 18 millimeters. Uh, that's the diameter of the inside of the of this O2 sensor fitting here. Uh, the, the thread pitch on an O2 sensor is actually 18 by 1.5, and uh, that's pretty much universal for all O2 sensors. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now that we got the hole drilled, I'm just going to take my angle grinder with uh, one of these sanding discs and just clean up any uh, surface rust off this metal so we can get a nice clean weld. And now before go ahead and weld this uh, bung on there, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease here on the threads and that'll just be to prevent any of the weld splatter from sticking in the threads and then making it difficult to thread the oxygen sensor in there. You really just want that on the inside. You want to keep the outside here clean so that you can get a clean weld. And now we're ready to start welding. Uh, I'm going to be doing this with a, just a simple MIG welder. Uh, this is gas shielded uh, so it'll be a little bit cleaner than if you were doing just a simple flux core, but either one would work. Um, and I realize this is a stainless steel fitting that I'm welding to a mild steel pipe. And some people might say, oh, you got to get special wire or you're not supposed to mix stainless with mild steel. Um, I've never had a problem. I welded stainless with normal welding wire. Uh, this isn't some like structural component that's not you know going to be unsafe or something if this for whatever reason break loose so this is fine uh you don't need to worry about have to, having to have stainless steel on a stainless steel pipe uh this will be just fine uh when i am welding this uh you want to keep the heat up high enough that it will actually get good penetration into this fitting but not burn through the pipe, which is a lot thinner than this fitting. So I'm going to focus more of the heat on the bung here and then kind of work the bead down towards the pipe so that I don't end up burning holes through my, uh, my exhaust pipe there. got the fitting all nicely welded on here and we can go ahead and put in our oxygen sensor. Just a couple other things to note uh, when you are installing one of these fittings uh, you don't want to have your oxygen sensor situated somewhere where it will be uh, underneath hanging underneath the exhaust both because it will be in danger of getting ripped off if you ever uh, scrape your exhaust and anything but also you don't want any of the moisture or in water that will collect inside the exhaust to be sitting on the end of your oxygen sensor. Uh, that will rust it out and uh, ruin it over time. So make sure you've got it sitting at you know 12 to maybe around 9, uh, depending on the room you have to work with under there. 
And that's the other thing is before you drill a hole and start, go ahead and commit to welding your uh, sensor bung in place, check for clearance under your car and make sure that you have enough room for the sensor once it's bolted in here. You know, that takes up a couple inches of space. So make sure you're not going to run into problems where your sensor is then hitting the underside. You know the belly pan or something of your vehicle yeah but uh that's about it it's all a pretty simple process and yeah i would say even if you just have a cheap harbor freight flux core welder you could do this it doesn't take anything special uh, and i think this is a much better sort of install than one of those clamp-on sensor bungs i would prefer to just do it right and weld it in place